Greetings everyone, this is Donna Gilliland, founder of Most Training, where I teach classes in mobile, office, and social media uh, technologies. I have a quick tip for you today on how to use Microsoft Office Word's Quick Parts feature. This feature allows you to store content that you use often, and once stored, it will be accessible from any document that you are creating. So let's get started. The first order of business is to select what it is you want to save in Quick Parts. That could be text, a graphic, a cover page, a header, a footer, among other things. So let's get started. I'm going to select uh, this block that says Quick Tip about Quick Parts. And I'm selecting this verbiage that I want to use again in the future. So I've got that selected. And then the next step is to click the Insert tab for the Insert ribbon. Once there, to your right in the text group is the Quick Parts button. Once you click, now what you're seeing, before I go further, is a logo that I previously stored to the size dimensions I like to use in marketing materials. And now, no matter what document I'm in, I will just be a couple of clicks away from bringing in that logo. But going back to the steps, the content is selected. We have access Quick Parts from the Insert ribbon. The next step is at the bottom of this menu where it says Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Then you will receive the Create New Building Block dialog box, and the name in it will be the first few words of whatever is selected in your content. I'm going to rename this one, and I'm going to call mine uh, Quick Parts Marketing Copy. And then the gallery, I suggest, um, no, correction, on the gallery, leave it at Quick Parts. Uh, I, I do talk about galleries in my uh, webinar and why you would need to choose one over the other. But you want to leave gallery at Quick Parts because that happens to be the gallery you accessed. Uh, that is where we want this content to be in the future. Just going back to clicking Quick Parts, the button would then show this content uh, within for the future. So leave that as is. It's the category that I suggest you change. It's set to general and it is optional, but if you're going to create a lot of these quick parts, it would be a lot easier to, uh, to look at them in the list, to find them in the list, if you will place them in categories or so that you don't have just one category. And that's easy to do where it says category general, click the down arrow. And I already have a category for my logos. So every time I would create a logo for something, I'm going to store it in that category. But here's your option, create new category. And I'm going to call this one, I'm going to give it a category of webinars. And then the description is strictly optional. Uh, the save in will save into the building blocks template. Uh, that loads when your program loads. There are other options, which I talk about in my training, and you'll learn more about those then. But for now, this is fine. Now, as far as the options go, the default in the future when you click your content from Quick Parts is to insert the content only, but when you click the down arrow, you have the option to have the content come in in its own paragraph or in its own page. I'm going to leave mine at the default and now I'm going to click on OK. All right, I've saved this block that you see highlighted. So in the future, if I want to use this, if I'm in a new document, any document, existing or new, I have access to that quick part. And I would go back to the insert ribbon, back to quick parts, and you can see the logos category. That's one I had created before. And there's that category I created called webinars. And there is that quick part uh, marketing copy. And now I click and it brings it in. Isn't that awesome? It's such a time saver. Now I do cover um, this topic uh, in much more detail in my training. So if you want to learn more about how to use this powerful feature, uh, then look for my future webinar on saving time using Microsoft Office Word building blocks and quick parts. That webinar is a little over an hour. It does come uh, with a mini workbook. But if you don't want to wait until the time that I do the live webinar, I do offer a special purchasing price for my recorded video 
that you can purchase on this full uh, feature. So again, that's about a 60 minute uh, video that comes with a workbook. So if you're interested in purchasing that video, then uh, email me at train at mosttraining.com. That's just one T in the name. All right, so go back and make a list of all the things that you need quick access to and start grouping them, uh, storing them there in the quick parts. And stay tuned on my website at uh, mosttraining.com for this webinar or go ahead and purchase the video if you like, train at mosttraining.com. All right, I'll talk to you soon. More tips coming later.